Alrighty, hello and welcome back. I was just looking at the journal. We just ended this uh, the AI's uh, wet dream of becoming a, or working with Gath, so we destroyed that guy. Um, now we're heading to. I think we had to. Oh yeah, uh, General Kowoku. Kowoku? Who's that general? We have to let him know that his team. Uh... Oh, and there's also this mission over here too. Just noticed. I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives! What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left, too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. That was, uh was sad for sure uh now we're gonna go talk to general kobo Ko i can't not pronounce this dude's name kowoko kowoku and it's he's in the citadel tower oh and emily wong is still here okay uh... no i'm waiting to commander any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. All right, let's talk to Emily Wong as well. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. 
I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Okay. And I think this, the control thing is in... If I'm not mistaken, it's in the... Ward C sec, that one room that looks like it could be a like a training room, I think. I think. Don't quote me on it, because I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh, yep, it definitely was. Okay. Just just looking at the mini map. Let's go talk to Wong and see if that works. Uh, Stadium, Citadel Tower. Just, see, just seeing if she does pop up. I'm already getting readings. This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. Alrighty. And... Why do I feel like this dude wants to ask me? Oh my god, I think he does want to ask me a question. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? 
Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew, but he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. All right. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of running around to the Citadel, make sure we have all the, the missions or everyone that we That's got in here, you know, done. So I'll be right back. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Let me take a look at what you of have course. for sale. <laughs> and time skip. Pretty empty down here now. Weird. Hello there. Welcome to Morlan's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Marlin. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Marlin. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. All right, time skip. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Perhaps Captain Anderson will have some knowledge about this man. We'll see what the Captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice All to All right, you. now time to talk to Captain Anderson. So, Wald! 
Alrighty. Well, I thought that one was a nice little chuch up and, you know, a reference to anybody that watches that uh, anime. I thought that was pretty pretty catchy. Oh, I uh, walked right back. Oh, what the hell is going on over here? I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. Yes, Commander? What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Hmm. Well, Kohoku will be back, I guess. I can't really ask him about Bane's. Now, I guess it is what it is. Um, already now we're gonna head back to the ships. So I'll see you guys in a minute. This is a wall, though. I know that one didn't. That one didn't have a much oomph to it, but see you guys in a minute. And we're back on the ship. Now, one last thing we gotta do before we continue on with our missions is we gotta go to the comm terminal and talk to our mom. Computer. Give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. I've seen him here on the Citadel. Looks like he's had some hard times. I don't doubt it. You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Sabaleta was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. I don't understand. What happened down there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slaver, a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about corralling, uh, culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. She didn't sound too proud, but hey, we got done with the mission. Alrighty, now time to see where we're going next. We talked to everyone, went back to the Citadel. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. 
The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Rip. Guess I wasn't supposed to say that, but... I don't think that would strongly influence the next game anyways. Okay, now we're gonna be going to these three galaxies. Then that one, and then Pharos. So that one... Oh, wait, 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 no, wait. I'm not going to Pharos. We're going to Novaria right now. Are we? How about I do these two? And then we jump to Pharos. Or, Novaria. My bad. Oh, then you won here, okay. Doable. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Message coming in. Patching it through. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Clinical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. I hate when it does that. I think this is the planet where the mountains are just like outrageously huge. We'll do Rex, because Rex is cool. Yeah, this is one of the planets. The planet, uh, the thing is ginormous. So give me a second, I'm gonna time skip a bit. Alright, the first location will be up here, and the next location will be technically a little bit from right here next to this one, so I'll see you guys in a second. Already, we got one here, it's right here, and then the other one looks like it's probably in that crater over here, we'll check it real quick. It looks Maybe like it's the signal's coming from that wreckage. Ambush? Shepherd. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, it's a trap. It's a trap.
Whoa! I didn't see you guys there. So, my theory is... Oh! Okay, my theory... Okay, is that it? Was that it? Yeah, that's bullshit. Sad. Anyways, Baines and Cerberus is one of the same. I believe Baines is the elusive man. Uh, maybe towards the end, I think I might have a thing, a journal on him. Oh, I made codex. Specific people, possibly. Maybe not. But, yeah. Um, just look it up. Look up the dude's name, Baines. Alright, so we're going to skip over to this one. So I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> well, uh, that's the first. Uh, I had it where the Mako flipped over and does not want to... Wait. Wait. Maybe. This must be a way for me to flip this thing. But yeah, apparently I did this, so I might have to reset it and come back over to do it. <laughs> Alrighty. Holy hell, How somehow we managed to flip it back over, but... That took, uh, I, want, I gave it a couple of minutes until I was able to flip it, so... Here we are, we're at the next location. That's gotta be like, I think that's like the first time out of like... I think at least 30 playthroughs I've flipped the Maha Mako and never wanted to turn back over. That is like, a, that should be an achievement. Really, getting stuck upside down for like a certain amount of time. Heading out. Just gotta hold up, man. Sometimes you just gotta hold up. Alright, so the next map location will be the debris. So I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> Alrighty, and we're here. I can't express how much I hate Rocky Mountain planets on this game. Uh, hello? Why isn't it letting me... Oh, there it is. Okay. And literally, just hold up. Just hold up. You'll get it eventually. Oh, I just seen a Skeleton 5. And that would be everything on this map. Take a good look. Now we're returning back to the Normandy. And going to one more galaxy before we go to Novaria. Oh wait, something did pop up. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facility's weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Alright, I always make it like a mental thing to always check these rings, man. There's usually an asteroid or something in one of these. Ah, nothing in that one for once. Uh, sometimes I waver a bit. Here we go all the way out here. Light metal. I think this might be the planet we get to land. Nope. That's probably this one. No. Oh. Wow. Okay, so that's the one a little further away. And check the solar. Check the sun. There's usually planets around that. 
Ouch. It's the ice one. <sighs> Alrighty. Um, let's give me Tally and Rex. Alright, and we landed. I gotta say, this is, I think it was one of my favorite planets because of the uh, cracked ice here, but. Alrighty, um, if you guys want to see the next video, you guys will just have to come by next week and see it. Uh, I'm not sure what days I'm gonna place this video back on, but. Yeah, if you guys like to see the video, just come back, you know, and watch it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.